Hello everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> we are the Robbies. I'm Shana. I'm Tasha. <laughs> and today, today yes. <laughs> uh, I want to la launch my uh, smoothie, green smoothie challenge. Today is uh, only green smoothies. And this is the official start this now. Is our, not my first, but... My first. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I already tried a little bit because Tasha made it and I have to say it's a strong one. It's <laughs> with, uh, tough greens. Um, what is in it again? Dandelions. With uh, banana and... Mango. And mango. And dandelions yeah. are al always a little bit bitter. And I think uh, Tasha put quite a lot of <laughs> in it, uh, a lot of dandelions in it, because it's really bitter. But it's interesting because she doesn't uh, think it's bitter. No, no I think? changed my taste a little bit. So now sometimes it's hard when I make smoothies for other people to um, evaluate what is bitter or not because for me they are fine. She gets so used yes. to the green smoothies. I that can she's just now able yeah. to have more of it in the smoothies and still like. I can it. drink quite bitter smoothies that for me they are just normal food. <laughs> and yes, I think this is maybe for other people not. And sometimes I even because I'm not so good now in evaluating how sweet or bitter smoothies are, I can make them also very sweet. <laughs> too sweet for me. That's also and fun. Yes. <laughs> and, and for other people also too sweet? Uh, yes, because not as sweet as for me, but they also say, oh, this is sweet. And I said, ah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I had this impression. <laughs> uh, did you give uh, green smoothies to non-raw foodists? Yes. And how, how did they react on it? Because it's a very unusual drink. If I have people over and they, or they have to sleep here because of something, or they are spending the weekend, uh, they eat raw here because I don't have any other food so and I'm not going to cook <laughs> so uh, I have a l lots and lots of fruit and my morning smoothie I make it it's my breakfast and I always put also a, a plate uh, full of um, fruits different fruits uh, all cut it and this is the breakfast that I offer my guests <laughs> and well, they drink it, yes. They, they just go along. And, and they like it? They like it. Or it's did they ever different for them. They always ask, or not always, but mm -hmm. there are some people who ask, um, is there any bread? <laughs> 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 I say, no, but if you want, we can go and buy some. Because <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> but yes, uh, most of them, I think all of them, they like it a lot. Okay, and they were not skeptical? Because they don't live here, so... It's okay for them to Could have for something like this mm -hmm. uh, for the first time. Uh, I think only one friend of mine is a little bit skeptical about it. Only one. Mm -hmm. uh, all the rest that have been here, they are quite open-minded. Mm. And they try the smoothie and they always, yeah, all of them say, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's <laughs> good. Yes. Surprise. Yes, I'm because surprised because I always think, ooh, you know, it's green. Yes, and, exactly. uh, <laughs> It's breakfast, <laughs> and not coffee. <laughs> mm. Because uh, when I offer friends green smoothies, uh, they were all a little bit skeptical. Ooh, green, that, that you can drink, this should taste good, really. <laughs> I mean, they all tried it, but none of, uh, not all of them liked it. And I made good mixes. I would say mm -hmm. good mixtures, um, but they did not all like it. I mean, they tried it <laughs> obediently and thought, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I don't think that I would make it myself. Mm -hmm. So so it's interesting that your friends... Uh, I think there's also the difference that, I mean, if it's breakfast, mm -hmm. if somebody sleeps at your place yeah, of course, it's different. and you give them this breakfast, people don't they usually are more open-minded because you know they were at your place and so they feel a kind of obligation of to to accept what That's you true. offer them it's the same with us when mm -hmm. we were in asia mm -hmm. we have and we are invited we are guests to somebody's yes. place and so we 
yes, we eat what people give us. Mm. So <laughs> it's the same. It's true, I think it's, it's the same. It's different than if you invite, if you just say, hey, come over and uh, watch a movie and then you give them a, a green <laughs> smoothie and like, oh, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I have my beer. <laughs> yeah, true. But, but uh, one, one friend, uh, she liked it a lot too. Yeah. But but she never made one herself at home. But she was surprised how tasty it was. Mm -hmm. Also, if you were very skeptical. <laughs> and most people also don't have a blender. Yeah, that's true. Uh, in the Europe, I know this is more common in USA that people have blenders. Mm. Uh, here in Europe, not. It's really not common at all. That's true. So, yes, most people don't have blenders. If even if they want to try to make a smoothie, they don't have. Yeah. How to do it? That's true. Mm -hmm. I fortunately had a blender when, yes. I, when I read about green smoothies. Oh, you had one already? <laughs> yes, I okay. had one already. You hadn't, right? No, you also I, had, had, I had to get one. Yeah. Well, okay, should we try? You can try. Our mm -hmm. We will be completely one, green. To uh, <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> That's strong stuff, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it will benefit me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, being healthy, can very put healthy. Some more bananas and strawberries. Uh, I think this glass I can manage. <laughs> <laughs> When I make my own smoothie at home, it will be sweeter, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, we will report how the challenge will go. <laughs> yes, and then let you know about. Maybe how tomorrow, I yes. How we make maybe tomorrow, yes. yes. Oh, tomorrow, yes. We, we have to talk about it. Okay. And to see. And so, yes. Anything else to smoothies? Um, let's yeah. see. I was in an um, event for ah, foraging. Yes. Very interesting. I want to learn more about uh, wild plants and how to recognize them. And uh, yes, here in Germany. Uh, they are a little bit different, I think, from Portugal ones, but not uh, not all, but just a little bit different. We mm -hmm. can find different things here. I think here m there are more varieties from oh what really? I can see because it's so green. In the forest? Uh, yes, Germany is so green, uh, so it has a lot of greens, mm, wild mm -hmm. greens. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think you can you can just walk around and eat, eat, <laughs> eat, <laughs> eat. And that was my experience in mm -hmm. the forest, in foraging. We were just walking around and just pick here, pick there. There were a lot, a lot of. Uh, did you did you collect many greens from this walk? I did, but more dandelions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, other things. Other things are also often very small, are they not? Yes, that you they're need small. To, to collect many yeah. plants. And um, yes, they are small, and also the names are a bit hard for me because <laughs> they are in German. So to recognize them, I can recognize them now by looking. So I can identify. That's important. Uh, a lot more difficult. than before. Yeah. A lot more, but uh, <laughs> to say the names it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> but <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> and there were I was surprised that there were so many people uh, attending this event. Uh, I think people are getting more interested in these kind of things, and this is a very good sign. Yeah, of it's course. Yes. It's a good sign that people want to learn about that. Becoming more so natural. they were not all uh, raw foodists to attend no, this event? No, and after we had a picnic, I was more with the raw foodists, because I mean the food is also <laughs> <laughs> more our taste. <laughs> and it was the first time I met somebody who is eating 80-10-10. Mm. So following the diet of 80-10-10, 80% fruit and percent fat and yes percent protein or ten percent green zest proteins and uh, um and uh, yeah it was yes this was interesting it was the first time and he's imagine. doing this now for two or three years so it's quite a long time and he feels very good with it mm. so that was good to talk I, I like to meet uh, different people uh, wh uh, who are doing different kind of diets mm. raw diets Because uh, I'm in the beginning, and so it's always good to to learn from other people's experience and uh, yes, why they chose a certain type of diet in raw food, and yes, why they stopped doing something. Yeah, that's interesting. 
that is interesting yes and uh, so actually i was having a picnic with the three different types of raw foodists one okay. is eating 80 10 10 the other one is uh, mono eating so it's more this instinct to uh, kind of diet mm -hmm. and the other one is a high raw mm -hmm. diet I so like normal mostly raw mostly raw but also and uh, a few other elements or no no just raw but right uh, <laughs> high raw means more fat so not the 80 10 10 that ah, would be the low more fat. okay low means more nuts. low fat uh, raw food diet yes mm -hmm. so just um, he just eats all raw <laughs> and uh, yes it's interesting they all look healthy <laughs> <laughs> and they are doing this so the high raw person he was doing this for 15 years it's a long time to be raw a long time really? and the um, mono eating uh, friend he's doing this for nine years so it's a long time which is also a long time and uh, the guy who's uh, who is eating 80 10 10 he's yeah doing this for two or three years like i said and before he had uh, another he raw just raw diet. just just raw. normal high raw diets yes mm -hmm. and for how long was he is he raw in general i think five years five years okay yes mm. oh, that's interesting. so yes that was it's always very interesting and i think maybe because they all look healthy and happy with their choices or how they eat um, it might mean that for different people uh, you have different solutions and you find your way um, with time yes mm. I think most people start with the high raw food diet and then after a while maybe they don't feel good be because of something and they just um, try something different yes they just uh, Per perfection they just make it they optimize they optimize they yeah. uh, adapt yeah the the raw food diet to their own needs and so then different people have different needs yeah. so it's fine i think this is really a very individual individual yes yes uh, individual matter so choice and matter there is not one best way probably yes so and i also yeah, don't like so much yeah, if people are very dogmatic about mm. it like if they think they I don't know that they judge how other people eat. I think that's not good. I think uh, no. each person is following their own path. It's and uh, judging is never a good thing. Yes, and judging it's just food. Uh, this is something that people should keep in mind. It's just food. And so everybody reacts different important. to it. This yeah. is also something people tend to forget sometimes, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so today it's the first mm -hmm. day for the challenge for the green smoothie and tomorrow the second day and yes and then it's over already <laughs> <laughs> after two days so we'll see how yeah we will see if i feel super super good maybe i will continue but we will see <laughs> first we start with two days okay then it's easy okay you know okay <laughs> and, and see bye -bye. bye bye so just to show you quickly uh, the things that we put in a green smoothie. These are dandelions that I got from the market. Very pretty uh, dandelions. These I got myself from mm -hmm. the They're smaller, foraging. Right? Mm -hmm. Foraging. And yes, these were from the market. But I think, yes, they are also biological. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if there are any dandelions that are not, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yes, these are all biological. A mango. Mm. Pretty ripe mango. And bananas. Also I put two perfect. bananas and Stink. half a mango. Mm -hmm. Yes. You and could add, and how, mu how much dandelion did you put? Mm. I put a lot. Okay, let me just show <laughs> it more or less. Mm, I would say yes this maybe. <gasps> so much okay, so maybe this <laughs> this is why it is so bitter <laughs> and so then this the of dandelion mm -hmm. half a mango and then two bananas mm -hmm. and then the blender was full and then the blender was full mm -hmm. and you just 
pour water. How much water? water? How much water? Till the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just close it. <laughs> and you... <laughs> okay. Yes. And that's it. Okay. And then you have your green smoothie. Perfect. It's very easy. <laughs> Thank you for the explanation.